A very good morning. You are watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Ruth Finasege and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We kick start off today's bulletin from Bundiwijo district. The people have been asked to change their mindset towards growing cocoa and planting food crops in order to improve their household incomes. The call was made by Christopher Chibanzanga, the State Minister for Agriculture and Member of Parliament for Bungendera County during the liberation day celebrations in Bundubujo district on Wednesday at Kawamara Memorial Grounds. He said Bundubujo receives over 181 billion shillings per cocoa season, but people spend all the money on buying food while they are living in grass thatched houses and marrying more than four women. Moving on to Mukono District, parents of Nachibanga Church of Uganda Primary School in Intangelo Sub County, Mukono District, have vowed not to take back their children to the school if the authorities refuse to transfer the head teacher. The parents allege that for years they have been pleading with the district education officer, Vincent Bareza, and the church authorities to transfer Sisi Chibirige, who has been the school head teacher for seven years, but all in vain. Ruth Nakato, one one of the parents alleged that Tibidiga formed the school with over 300 pupils, but she failed to raise the standards, resulting in producing mostly failures. She said the parents of 23 children who are enrolled vote not to take them back if the head teacher does not leave. Zaina Navidia said her first son was among the three candidates who sat for the primary leaving examinations last year, but he failed by getting 32 aggregates. News coming in from Bujiri District. Four traders died instantly while 20 others were admitted in critical condition when a speeding lorry they were traveling in was involved in a head-on collusion with a tractor at Chibimba Rice Game on the Bujiri Busia Highway yesterday. The traders were taking merchandise to the Busia border market for sale. The incident happened at around 9.30 a.m. According to one of the survivors, Grace Athiano, the driver of the Fuso lorry they were traveling in try to avoid knocking a pedestrian before ramming into the on go the oncoming tractor belonging to Tilda Rice Factory. Athena said one of the passengers had asked the driver Juan Matwaribu to move faster so that they could arrive in time for the sake of their business. The majority of the injured who were seated on top of the fusil lorry sustained broken legs, bruises and deep cuts on their heads and hands after being thrown onto the tarmac. The injured are currently admitted at Bujiri Main Hospital. And news from Kampala, hundreds of mourners were at the home of the fallen music star Moses Sechigobo, best known as Moza Radio in Makinde, Kampala, to attend the vigil. Radio died Thursday morning at Kes Hospital, 10 days after reportedly being attacked at a bar in Entebbe. The music guru died at the age of 33. May his soul rest in eternal peace. And finally, from Kabalori District, the Uganda Wildlife Authority has dispersed 657 million shillings to districts neighboring protected areas in the Renzori region. The benefiting districts include Kabalori, Bunyangabun, Toroko, Kasese, Bundibujo, Kamwenge, Chenjojo, and Chegegwa. The money which has been dispersed is part of the 20% annual gate collections that UWA charges tourists while visiting protected areas. It will be given to to community groups which are near protected areas to help them start up income generating projects. While handing over the dummy check to district officials at Chanyangora Wildlife Center in Chico Town Council, Calorie District on Wednesday, the UWA Executive Director Andre Seguia advised that the funds be channeled towards addressing the existing conflict between wildlife and human beings. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Rafi Nasajek.